Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing ReZero. In fact, we are finishing season 2. I will be watching episodes 24 and 25 today. Man, I can't believe that this journey is coming to an end. It was such an incredible ride and I'm already getting so emotional, bro. I really always looked forward to watching V0 and then uh, to seeing your guys' comments, of course. <sighs> I made a little mistake last time around because reading comments is literally, for me personally, one of the main things I look forward to because I love seeing all the other opinions and of course learning because I can't catch everything on the first watch, but uh, I have you guys and I always find it interesting and of course sometimes perhaps there, may, there, there might be some spoilers there and to be more precise uh, when you guys explain the stuff that was cut out of anime and that was in visual novel, right? Uh, I was talking about it but some people only watched anime just like me and they didn't uh, read light novels so I was talking about what was cut out from light novel that I learned from you guys and by doing so I accidentally spoiled someone else because I don't know if they will reveal that information later on in these episodes or they're keeping it for some other seasons in the future right and I was really upset not because I learned that information but because I accidentally even spoiled someone else which is wild and I apologize for that man. I, I should have said like spoilers warning or some shit like that man but I'm saying it now uh, <laughs> so skip next 20 seconds. It was first time it was for Al right and that he's also the uh, he's, he also got Isekai and the next one was in previous video when I talked about how Witch of Envy and Satella are actually like two personalities and not one the same. But yeah, yeah, I, I apologize about that. I won't bring that stuff again from the light novels and let's uh, leave on, on the positive note, man. Let's end this amazing journey. Uh, I'm super thankful for you guys for enjoying these reactions for explaining everything to me and for sharing your passion for V0 because based on your guys' comments the V0 isn't really like too popular, right? Perhaps even uh, I think it was Money Gambler, one of my Patreon, he explained to me that uh, White Fox Studio, right? They put so much love into V0 and the fact that it wasn't even their major main project. He mentioned some other show that they were focusing the most on, right? So V0 was like side anime for them and it still turned out so great, man. Like so many 30 minutes episodes and those ending scenes when the music starts playing. It's absolutely crazy, man. So yeah. Uh, when it comes to the actual story and the episodes, last time around was <laughs> freaking insane, bro. <sighs> Emilia's uh, present with Fortuna, Betelgeus, Archie, everyone in the forest, right? And if it's like the perfect present for them, right? You guys also pointed out something interesting. Like, if Subaru saw him dead in all those loops man is is that like kind of reflecting his own like self-hate right that he hated himself and that he thought that it would be the best if he was gone or something like that man it's some pretty dark shit and it goes well with what uh satella told him later on to love himself right to uh, learn to love himself more man so that was pretty interesting as i said completely different when it comes to Subaru and Emilia's first and second trial, right? It's like they were completely reversed. Oof, that scene with Emilia, 
uh, jumping in the lake and seeing her reflection for the first time so you guys indeed confirmed to me that it is because she never wanted to look at her face in the mirror or anything reflective because she was worried because she was hated by people and being called devil and right the witch of envy and all that terrible stuff and that puck was doing her hair even <laughs> so that's pretty interesting Roswell and the ram as I said, I will say it again, I'm not a huge fan of that, by, but I can see why that's happening. I can see the clear parallel between Subaru and Roswell, and for that, it kind of fits right, even though I just don't like that Ram is in love with Roswell, man, but it is what it is. She really loves him and that face she made, bro, she was so precious, it's so rare to see Ram like that. But it's like she wanted to get rid of that book that he's following to make him break out, break out of that curse no matter what and she succeeded by burning it in the fire and I think that he attacked her and the show implied like it's the end of Ram, like she's gonna die. I certainly hope that's not the case. Subaru has come so far, man. I can't believe that this loop is going so well, but most importantly, with the help of others, with the help of other friends, right? Something that goes against Roswell's beliefs and Subaru is making it into his strength, man. And he himself has done so much without any, like, uh, broken, <laughs> broken abilities. <laughs> he can literally return by that, but come on, you guys know what I mean. It's it's not like super super strong. He freaking struggles by using Shamak and all the other spells when he used his authority. Uh, invisible providence. <laughs> it's not unseen hand, right? It's different. Uh, he started puking and all of that. My man has no time for training to control that shit, man. Shit happens constantly. Things are developing quite fast. Betty kicked him out? I wasn't expecting that. I was fully expecting uh, to finally get Betty to stop believing in that book, man. And that those blank pages doesn't mean that she has to freaking die. And she kicked him out. Elsa against Garfield became so freaking passionate, right? Their battle was insane. It was so feral, feral, as I said, brutal, right? Like beast against vampire, literally. I didn't know that Elsa is a vampire. That's crazy. And in the end, we even saw some emotions from her. It looked like she cared for Meili, right? And in a weird way, she likes like that warmth of blood and she remembers the first time she experienced that with that creepy fucker about to do some horrible things to, to the poor girl man but I guess I guess that's how everything started and it went in a really really fucked up way for Elsa and she became the bowl hunter right <sighs> yeah, I can't believe that she's actually dead that's insane. I also like how Frederica saved Meili. Frederica is so nice as well, man. I thought that she might be, that she might end up on enemy side when I saw her in the mansion, right? And that she was following Roswell's orders and all of that. I'm glad that's not the case. Seeing villagers talking to Emilia was amazing. Emilia facing future was kind of scary, right? With those possible outcomes, bro. <laughs> I hope none of that shit goes through, man. Um, I mean, it's inevitable. I'm sure that some future out of those lines that we saw is going to happen. There will be many more restarts, man. That's, that goes without saying. But this act, it's fucking crazy, man. I, I really can't wait to see how it concludes. Pak was uh, and Ram were talking to Roswell. Pak was remembering someone who sounds like Roswell, right? Perhaps they were talking about Hector the Warlock, right? That's really interesting. 
I I can't really tell why is Roswell speaking like that. <laughs> and he has the same outfit and everything. It's weird. It's it's straight up very weird, man. But yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm ready. Without further ado, let's start episode 24 of ReZero Season 2. Let's go, guys. All right, everything is ready. Let's start. Roswell managed to trigger the spell. Looks like the ice crystal protecting them or some shit. <laughs> it was Puck! Yeah, of course it's Puck, man. Puck is such a huge mystery, right? I'm sure down the line when and if they adapt like season 3 and stuff, we are going to learn more. Though that part about Puck's memories were all, all, was always confusing to me. Oh, that guy from the last episode. <laughs> the way they both developed Subaru and Emilia was so satisfying. They came so far. Just remember episode number one and their interaction, man. And they were talking about helping people's, uh, helping people, right? And now. He actually killed her! Nah. And he feels regret. I refuse to believe that Rem and Ram will not reunite again. I refuse to believe that. That sloop is fucking done for Roswell, man. Oh, sneaky bastard. You're quite a magician. And that's the part I'm not sure about. And there will be like that devil. Hector? Look at the conflict. Look at the conflict be between his two personalities, right? On one hand, he believes that one goal, right? But on the other hand, it seems like he really has some sort of emotion towards Ram. It's more like what Subaru has for Ram as well, right? I guess he likes Sekina the most. And he goes and heals her horn, just like he does always. I still don't know when it is. Wow, okay. I'm kinda glad that we're seeing Roswell like this. There is a chance that he really might change and join us. So Ram is alive, right? This tree it looks so magical, man. Also, another thing that I saw that tree that reminded me of where uh, Echidna was. Uh, when Emilia saw Echidna like in her coffin in that like see through, right? Where the barrier, the source of barrier in last episode. Uh, you guys pointed on Patreon and in comments that Emilia didn't recognize Echidna. Which is very wild. So, I'm not sure what's what's going on there. Like, did she screw with her memories or some shit? Just like how she was talking to Subaru about wiping the memories. Oh, the Ryuzu cops! They're all gathered here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shima. 
試練を終えられたのですねガーボーの賭けは正しかったいけばいい Oh my god Can they do that? この状況を見てそれが最初に出てくるのかうん大丈夫氷でソリを作って乗せてあげればみんなで引っ張って持っていけると思うの状況を見てそれが最初に出てあきれたなこの状況を見てそれが最初に出てくるのか That is e c h i d n a s voice What the fuck? How was she talking to her? I thought it was a failed experiment この麻酔症こそ聖域を取り巻く結界の核術式はエミリオへ解放されるならばじゃあえっとそれって管理者が賭けでもすれば取り返しがつかなくなりますわしらはそのためこれを It's the same one that... あパックなの大精霊様は先んじてここを訪れ、of course. 実の活動を引き伸ばし、The latest p a s activation。Like, I have a feeling that Puck has such minimal resources to work with and he's trying to make best out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, why do I have a feeling that some, something bad is gonna happen to them? Dude. <laughs> And of course, we didn't get to hear what she said. She chanted some spell, perhaps. Wow, the car, the core is gone. So is it this problem? <sighs> Emilia wants to go to Ram and Roswell. He's still there in the same pose, healing her, I guess. <laughs> That's so cool. That's very cool. Yep, look at his eyes. There is no life in those eyes, man. The book is gone. Ram seems freaking dead. But she's not. There we go, man. Of course. Doesn't matter anymore. Oh my god, if she manages to, to motivate him right now. And we heard Roswell in one of those future possible futures. You can see it in his face, he's still gone. Oh my god, bro. That was so close. The freaking rabbits are already here, man. Look at them. Because I'm a rich. The strong mana source. That's what they're after. Oh god. Yeah, they're not too powerful, right? But they're numbers. That's the biggest problem. Oh, this shot of mansion. Back to Betty. Now we have to get rid of that book as well. Shoko,私の有する知識の限りを書にしてまとめ保管する。ま、待って。Shoko はロズワールの屋敷。わからないのよ。ベティはお母様と一緒に。残念だが、ロズワールの及ばないらを受け継ぐ義務がある。まさか
Wow, look at this. I like when ReZero does this, showing us the character in other characters' eyes. Perhaps Ekidna was really afraid for her knowledge not to get lost and she did this to Betty. It is incomplete but it's replica. Mm. That person. That's so cruel. Someone that will get all of her knowledge. <laughs> it's still so hard to read. And always in these flashbacks we can't get the clear look at her face. Well, look at him. He was reading it. What was he saying? Replicating a soul. Saving it in a vessel. That's what they did not try to do with the Ryuzos, I guess. Why is he talking like that? Bro, what is happening? Wait, did Roswell actually manage to like... S replicate his soul and transfer it into another body. Did he did what Echidna was not able to do? What the fuck? What is happening? Nanninka あにとしたった彼との思わぬ再会には久しぶりに心が弾んだ。でもそうはならなかった。自分と兄は違う殺し言葉を封じた。ハーフデヴィルガール。そんな時。第一村人発見。異物は唐突に。ブエンの。ブ
pushing him out again. Come on, Subaru. Come on, come on. <laughs> yep, but it's not over. Yeah. I'm your friend. The library, yes! Hell yeah! Destroy that shit, man. Oh no! What did she say? What just happened? Oh, I hate when this shit happens. I thought, like, she's letting it all go that she doesn't give a shit about the library anymore. She said, farewell. Classic Subaru sacrificing his life in such a successful and rough loop, man. But it is for his friend, her people. He cares. Yep, that passage, right? Oof, bring back, brings back s not so, such nice memories. The last one in this place, man. It's very poetic, though. Yeah, last time he froze and now he's burning. What happened? There it is, that the dimension. Hell yeah. ベアトリス。俺を助けてくれ。プリーズ、セイブミ。お前を孤独から連れ出してやるとか。かっこいいこと言ってやろうって色々考えたんだけどさ。どれもその場しのぎの勢いまかに俺の力なんて必要ねえ
What about the present? I'm going to fall into your soul. <laughs> Never felt to set the hand on that fight. Oh, this is so fucking good, bro. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit, that line. They're gonna appear together now. Don't worry. There they are. <laughs> my man, I'm talking catch a break even Petra, dude. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. <laughs> she sounds so happy. Oh, back to this. She's fighting in front of everyone. Oh, she looks frozen. <laughs> Look at this shit. No, this is so epic, man. Oh my god, the entrance, man. <laughs> Leave the rest of me. <laughs> Yo, the last task. <laughs> oh, let's go. Look at them, bro. Like brother and sister. What a good episode, bro. Finally, Betty. Finally, I was waiting for this for so long. Wow, that was so freaking good, man. Finally, until the very end, until the very single room was left in the mansion and it was library right betty's last chance to use her door crossing and it was fire right in the atmosphere it was literally the last second and she was very stubborn until the very end right because 400 years of waiting is not easy to scratch man but super knows how to speak like i will make this moment engraved into your soul man i will eventually leave you yeah spirits live like forever so that's pretty sad because humans that you are that you love that you're good with are definitely going to leave you one day right but the memories will stay man and the, the good times the present right imagine if you are constantly thinking thinking about the future and the potential horrible future, man, that's not how you live a life, man. That's not a life. You're constantly worrying, man. You have to be in present, man. And Subaru doesn't have to be that person. It's another, simply another person that cares so much for her than that person would ever care, man. It's simple as that, man. And seeing Betty... Hearing Betty say Subaru's name with so much energy and happiness in her voice, we never experienced that, man. That was so sweet. They were flying through the sky like a shooting star, man. And <laughs> Subaru is the name of the, the, the star, the, the constellation. And the fact that they landed where Emilia is and Emilia fighting these uh, my beasts, giant rabbit, right? In front of all the villagers, protecting everyone, proving that she's the goat. And Subaru joins with Betty holding hands. And we see these all these amazing characters. But uh, the most amazing two ones being Subaru and Emilia, their development has been insane. And how smoothly we, we took care of Roswell, of Sanctuary, of Elsa. All those complicated tasks. And now we are, uh, we are down to one, last one. And it's taking care of Great Rabbit. Man. I'm not afraid at all. I'm not afraid at all. I'm very confident that we are going to do it. 
I don't know what did Subaru prepare. Subaru is so smart, man. It's like, Subaru is like... Uh, what was the meme for Naruto? Like Tokyo Jutsu, right? <laughs> He's not st the strongest guy around, but when it comes to having conversation, man, he can affect people so deeply, man. And it's genuine. That's the point, man. He genuinely cares for all of them, man. It, it was simply a beautiful episode. And the Roswell was so broken without a book. I guess it makes sense. He was talking uh, about his teacher. He was mentioning Echidna, right? What to do. He's lost. He's depressed. He lost his purpose in life, right? But he was kind of... It was like his eyes. His eye was twitching like part of him was regretful for what happened to Ram, clearly, right? So it's not like he's completely emotionless, right? But that part with him studying about, like, transferring souls into another vessel, right? It reminded me of what Echidna tried to do with Ryusu's copies, right? To transfer her soul and her mind into them. And she wasn't successful, but then in this episode, we see a random, or was it a random line from Ryuzu that sounded like Ekidna, like Ekidna was talking to her. And we see Roswell, and Betty says that it's like different Roswells or some shit, man. That was insane. And that also got me to think that, did he like did something like that to Hector, possess his body or some shit, but if he's changing the, the bodies, right, the vessels, how is he he's keeping that stretched uh, pattern of speaking or what? Like, look at this shit. I have heard about you from my predecessor, and he was, look at the way he sounds here. And he's stretching the lines, right? But it's clearly a different voice. The current Roswell Roswell B matrix. So are we using like the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on? Because I believe the current one is Roswell L matrix, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Matters plan from one Roswell to next. Look at this. That's so insane to me. I can't believe that they just revealed more, more mystery surrounding Roswell somehow. Only in Re Zero, man. And the fact that Subaru said, isn't that what he, why you were sitting in front of the door? <sighs> Oof, there is one more episode left, guys. One more episode of this goated show, and we are going to dive right into it. Without further ado, let's start episode 25. Let's go. Alright, guys, episode 25, last episode of season 2. Let's go. There is so many of them. <laughs> yep. I can get used to that still. Subaru. <laughs> oh my god. That was so cute. And? Call it the perfect handicap. Ah, uh, oh, yo. My boy Subaru is shaking. Yeah. He's putting the top act, man. But that death was the most brutal. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah. But there is too much of them. Too many. <laughs> oh, 
思考の一撃を想像したならあとは唱えるだけかしらエルニーニャわおー I wonder if she's actually using some some of his mana. Bro, sharing mana with him. <laughs> It's hard to say, Minya. <laughs> This is so precious, man. It's so good. There is a limit. Because Dico, while I'm getting ready, I suppose. Sobo was getting surrounded with the. Releasing the stench of which, right? <laughs> Sobo has always been the bad man in these major fights. This is so fucking camping, bro! He's actually shooting these attacks. Okay, they trapped them in one place. Okay, I like this. You always do. <laughs> oh, and this is so beautiful as well. They are amazing! <laughs> Great spirit, Beatrice! Aru <laughs> Shamak! Blinding them, right? So that they can wipe each other. That was beyond amazing! Okay, so <laughs> she basically cleaned them up and moved them inside of that pocket dimension, bro. <laughs> wow! And the last task is done. <gasps> Ram, and he cries. We might conclude Roswell's evil schemes, man. He really might not stay the villain. <laughs> Look at that face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even describe to you guys how much happiness I'm feeling right now. Let's hear it, Roswell. <laughs> That's just fine. <laughs> exactly. Made her own choice. <laughs><笑><笑> I want to make Subaru my number one. Oh, choose me. Yep. To choose him over that person. Okay, I'm down for this for some nostalgic conversation between the two. Wow, so it is that Roswell the same man transferring his soul. Oh my god. <laughs> So good, man. <laughs> oh, my God, Betty. 
これは金書庫を燃やしたことない。Yep, the OG Sanctuary Gang. I bet that Ruzo is not there. Welcome back. Welcome back, indeed. Without that fucking stupid book. Let's go, Rosva. Let's fucking go. Wow. Look at the snow. It is. 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 <laughs> Look at her ears as well. She's about to mention the kiss. <laughs> yes. So many times. <laughs> when did he have a proper talk? All right. What the fuck? Pardon? What? What is happening? Is this some sort of joke? でも生まれてくる赤ちゃんは悪くないし幸せにしたいこんできたり。キャベツ畑で収穫したりしないよ。でも男の人と女の人がチューしたら赤ちゃんができるんでしょ。おまいがでミリア。おまいが。ラムセ
The show realized as well that Roswell will be forever su suspicious, so they decided to do something like this. I kinda like it. Ah, yep. <laughs> It's very for the soul of my beloved teacher. This really happened. <laughs> Petra? Nah. Uh, she's such a nice and smart girl as well, man. <laughs> yeah, Roswell definitely feels genuine right now. Okay, Emilia-tan. <laughs> the most important thing yet. <laughs> what? What's it gonna be? I'm sorry, wow, he didn't apologize, that's a good point, <laughs> yep, a simple I'm sorry, <laughs> look at Ram smiling, that's enough. Bro, Finley in season 3! Ah! Oh, you look at them in the suits! Even Petra in a dress! But, what the fuck? What the fuck, Sotaro? Look at him, bro! Look at my boy! Wait, did they all forget about Tekina? Yeah, there is no more any secrets. I'll continue to keep my eye on you. Is my boy about to really become night right now? Holy shit, this show, the journey, the character development. Just remember episode fucking 13 of season 1. Bro, it looks so good at him. Garfield. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man! You're a nightmare. And this time, guys, 
this time this is it <laughs> thank you for giving us episode like this and to, for ending season like this of course they have to have a conversation alone <laughs> Nope, that's just Subaru. Yeah, and he doesn't drink. But Amelia does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder, because both of you are actually amazing. My night later. A promise. Emilia's promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Subaru. <laughs> oh, she's too pure, man. Gosh, it's still so weird seeing him like that. These mother's words. Absolutely beautiful man. Damn, these shots of their faces are so nice. Come on, strike a pose <laughs> the, as a knight. Damn. <laughs> Look at my boy. Huh? <laughs> and of course, Federica not a loving girl to think. The girls are the Petra and Petty. Yeah, yeah, enjoy while you can. Until fucking. Hard bishops appear, until Pandora appears. Until hell breaks loose again. But we will overcome that eventually. Enjoy the moment. Oh, they're dancing. So perfect. Oh. Ending it with Emilia's smile. <laughs> Otto is wasted as fuck, man. Uh, <laughs> and season ended without Rem waking up after all. <laughs> Petra and Betty dancing. <laughs> Roswell and Ruzo. What a nice song. The family that uh, Roswell mentioned, right? Wow, look at this man. <laughs> it still feels so unreal, man. It looks like a tracksuit a little bit still. <laughs> that like the line. Wow. I'm speechless, guys. I'm so glad that we ended like this. Just like season one, right? Well, there, there is season one, uh, director's cut, right? And the other version, so... This one ended like the one that I saw, on a very, very positive note. But as I said, there is a bunch of other stuff, man, with Pandora and that uh, seal, right? And Emilia being the key to that seal. And all the archbishops as well. And, uh, we still didn't get Rem's memories back, and... <laughs> this anime just has to be adapted fully, man. I want ReZero to conclude in anime form no matter what, man, because it's so beautiful, bro.
bro. It's so beautiful. Hopefully, we will get season three pretty soon. <clears throat> I I heard, uh, I read the comments about people saying that it should happen, right? Pretty soon or next year. So yeah, I would really like that. All right, guys, that's it. We finished season 2 of V0 as well, and I have nothing to say other than it was perfect, and I am so happy that I shared yet another fantastic journey with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for letting me know the things that I missed or misinterpreted. You guys helped me a lot. And I liked seeing your thoughts about certain scenarios, right? Uh, the whole stuff with uh, Emilia versus Ram. I don't like that. That's the part of the fandom that I don't rock with because both are amazing. Let's be real. Uh, seeing Subaru's development is absolutely insane. You have to be very patient with Subaru. I didn't really have much problems with Subaru, right? I did get pissed off, especially in episode number 13, because Subaru was really dick back then. And later on, when he was talking to all royal candidates, and yeah. But let's be real, guys. The amount of suffering he went through, it's honestly a miracle that he kept his sanity. Holy shit, each act had a certain vibe around it. And looking back at Act 1, I really enjoyed Act 1. Or should I say, I liked the vibes of Act 1. The mystery was amazing, right? With us just discovering about Subaru's ability and seeing Emilia like this fairy angel or whatever but everyone is hating on her right when i remember that it makes me feel so nostalgic seeing Vainhard so early on meeting a very very strong and powerful guy and the way they presented him to us i thought he he might be plotting something that he might be the villain i remember that and then we get to elsa who was a freaking menace man although all the men rom and Phil, the stuff with Phil has to be relevant later in the story, 100%, because Phil is a very important person, and Insignia was reacting to her, right? And she has, uh, if I remember, Blessing of the Wind, right? So yeah, Phil is, uh, and Old Man Rome, and all the, those characters are gonna be important. And just Subaru saying, I will save you to Emilia and their first death, right, in the loot house and then uh, holding hands together and all of that, man, it's so nice. Then we go to Act 2 and Act 2 had really uh, an easy vibe, right, like a fucking horror movie, man, with uh, the first very, very brutal death where when Subaru's arm was flying uh, on the chandelier, man, in that uncensored version, even his eye was flying, bro. And it's so crazy that one who did that to Subaru was Rem. The writing is fantastic. The Rem loves Subaru so much, man. But the stuff, that's where the stuff with the which smell started kicking in and uh, the witch cult and the mystery surrounding that the backstory of, of the demon sisters ram and ram roswell being all sassy right he was very suspicious but we didn't get any like clues we couldn't we didn't have any proof that roswell is behind all of this like we could just say i think roswell is behind of all of all of this but we didn't have anything to base it off but we had a lot of material to be suspicious of him right and later on him laughing during <clears throat> episode 13 right and the way Subaru was acting his smirk so yeah the characters 
are developing not uh, not only Emilia and Subaru, the side characters, the side characters of ReZero. It's hard to match them, bro, with any other show. Like Rem and her self-worth problem as well. They're all helping each other, right? It's not one-sided. Rem needed help from Subaru first. And later on, Rem returned the favor in episode number 18 and brought Subaru back to his feet. But if we remember Act 2, Subaru is the one who helped Rem continue living normally and not constantly in the shadow of her own sister, right? And thinking that she is not worth anything, man. That whole act was freaking amazing as well. And that's the first time we saw Subaru's self restart in that episode where he jumped. And when he proclaimed that he wants to save Ram, right, and everyone else, I can't forget that shit, man. And he made contract with Betty. It was just so good. So many things happened there as well. And then Act 3, holy shit, the Royal Selection, meeting more amazing side characters. My girl, Krush, <laughs> she's still one of my favorites, man. Priscilla, Anastasia, they're all still so mysterious, right? Priscilla is an interesting one because I really liked your guys' comments about her, especially in that episode when she said the uh, greed uh, of a pig, right? And what she actually thought at that moment. There is more to Priscilla, for sure, and to all of them, to be honest. And I like how Krush, uh, without her memory still came back relatively to her past self, man. But how strong of a character she is, man. The side stories, man, like with uh, old men will avenging uh, uh, his wife, man, who is from the family uh, Van Lastrea, right? I mean... Uh, Reinhardt is also Van Astrea, so I guess he is their ancestor and he has red red hair. Just like, uh, oh my god, my brain froze, I can't remember her name, Theresia, right? And then, obviously, we have the stuff with witches that, uh, and archbishops that gets pretty relevant in Act 3. Of course, Betelgeuse being introduced as a complete freaking psycho that I hated so much and was he was weirding me out but he was I was liking I was liking episodes with him because how crazy he was and the way they animated his movements and all of that he was insane and he was talking about putting Emilia through ordeals right at that time so that's not the same thing as trials those ordeals might still happen in the future right and the fact that he wanted to destroy Emilia's body when she was dead, her corpse and all of that, right? You would think that he's the most insane dude ever, but in, in fact, he's just a unfortunate soul that suffered so much in the past, man. He killed Fortuna, bro. the one he loved so much. The writing is simply amazing. I said that a million times before. I'm stunned how well this show is written. I didn't touch upon any mysteries yet, surrounding, of course, Satella, the Witch of Envy, all the witches who might be Emilia's parents, the stuff with Flugel. I was talking about how that perhaps might be Emilia's father. We know that he had gray hair and purple eyes. Is Minerva Emilia's mother? That was really interesting, because why would they single single out Witch of Wrath to have that emotional scene with Emilia and holding her head not to turn back? But when uh, Emilia mentioned, my mother, Fortuna is my mother, uh, Minerva started crying and Emilia turned back to see why and she's like, oh, I told you not to look back and she couldn't resist but to hug her. There might be more to that. Minerva also helped Subaru. She seems like generally one of the nicest witch, 
to be honest. She healed super as well. But yeah, like I said, so many mysteries. We learned new shit about Vosval and him transferring the soul. What Echidna was trying to do with Vuzus. There is still his wish to kill the dragon. Uh, I don't know if that's still relevant, but I always go by that scene when he was talking about it and he was had serious look on his face and only Ramp was present there so that's the only reason i still think that he might actually go after dragon one day man <laughs> i really do so and the knights yulis felix a bunch of amazing characters the, the whole uh, battle against White Veil was insane. Also, the as I said, the icing of the cake on the, uh, when it comes to V0 are its fights, man. And when they were fighting uh, Reinhardt against Elsa at the very beginning, and felt and everyone else fighting was animated so well. And uh, battle against White Veil and Elsa against Garfield, like, those fights were really, really crazy. And we even got uh, some crazy fights in OVAs as well, right? I mean, in OVA Frozen Bond with Puck against Melaquera and all of that. We learned about the Black Serpent. Uh, we learned about uh, Giant Rabbit as well. We got rid of Giant Rabbit. We didn't kill it, but Betty transported them into her pocket dimension. Uh, that only leaves Black Serpent, who randomly appeared as well and killed Archie, right? Was it Black Serpent that killed poor Archie? I think it is, man. He took it like a champ, though. Oh. Speaking of Archie and all that flashback of the past trial of Emilias, right? In contrast to Subaru's whole shit, that was so freaking unexpected expected man especially with archbishop of greed being there and the introduction to pandora honestly one of the scariest characters man. seeing her getting squished like a million times and her just appearing again like nothing happened like reality we are talking about reality bending that little crazy fucker is gonna appear again in the future and it's gonna cause a lot of trouble but even she backed off. She screwed with Emilia's memories, right? And when Emilia was releasing that power that froze everyone, she backed off. And if someone powerful like that wants that seal, that sealed gate, man, who knows what kind of crazy shit is hiding there? Pandora opening the gate, right? Like Pandora's box, man. Oof. That's making me believe that it somehow might happen in the future, that she will somehow use Emilia to open that and we, are, we, we would dive into something so crazy. Which party as well, that was so fun. Echidna was really, really interesting, man. Echidna was one of the most interesting characters. The other witches were, they are like forces of nature, right? You can't reason with them, they are all very unique but in the end they were all curious about Subaru and helping him in their own way right the witch of lust the witch of gluttony uh Sekhmet, right they all intervened according to Subaru's wishes right and he when he changed his wish when he said that he wants to leave right that's when Minerva healed him otherwise they would the uh Sekhmet and was it Typhon uh, the Witch of Greed, they would let Subaru die, and if he dies in that world, his mind would be broken when he returns back, right? So that was actually quite, quite dangerous. And uh, the episode with Subaru's parents, oh my god, I cried like a little bitch in that one. That was so amazing. And I like how he's using the words of his parents quite often right now, his mother specifically, about how uh, it's uh, important what happens in the end, right? I guess after all the suffering, that works pretty well for Subaru. It's, I can see why that is very motivating to him. Yeah, 
Also the parallels with Roswell and Subaru, Ram and Ram. Fantastic writing man, fantastic stuff with our girl Betty and her waiting for that person and Subaru just saying screw it man, I will love you more than that person. You will have the most fun with me that you will never forget it. I need your help. I need you to save me and I will engrave that this uh, the time you spent with me into your soul even if it's just a moment for you so that was really amazing the way they concluded that with Emilia saying that she wants that she has a baby bro I was very weirded out for a second but I was like there is no way and I <laughs> continued listening and I saw that she thinks that the babies are created with the kiss man. <laughs> That's such a Emilia thing to say though, but <laughs> Subaru was blaming Puck for that. Maybe Puck told her. <laughs> Did they mention that before? I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not really sure, man. The way they were taking turns hitting Roswell, even my boy Otto, that was hilarious. He has the oath. So I guess that author wanted to show us that he won't really do anything too crazy in the future, right? Oh, but he will still keep an eye on Subaru and he still wants to revive his teacher and to talk to her. So about his soul transferring, he learned that from making us books and he's actually doing it. That's why we saw all those different Roswells and it was a different voice, right? And that's why Betty was so shocked in this episode because she thought that it's completely different Roswell but it was the same one all the time. That's crazy. And Betty and him after 400 years abandoned their books. Really, really poetic stuff. <sighs> there is no more ReZero guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, if you plan on staying on my channel, I am very thankful, but also if you are here for ReZero, thank you for being here, I hope that you will be here for Season 3, and we are all going to be excited at the same time, right? And that would be uh, such a nice thing, right? So that we can discuss as the, as the episode air, right? That, that's gonna be so much fun. Maybe you are interested in some other shows that I reacted to or that I will potentially react to. I will make a poll for the new show after V0. But there are still those break time episodes and perhaps I might check out some videos like alternate routes or stuff. Maybe I won't record my reactions to them. But we will see, we will see. It depends what you guys want to see. But I guess the most, uh, the most people were requesting those break time episodes. So... I will do that next uh, Wednesday and I will see what will I do for Thursday. I might post the poll next Thursday, right? And take a day of uploading and then whatever wins on the poll will be the next show replacing V0. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya.